hello guys how are you doing today well on today's class i'm going to be telling you all you need to know about gas carburetors there have been a trend of late around this gas carburetor um you see a lot of people talk about gas carburetor a lot of people now use gas carburetor even those that uh, really didn't want to use gas carburetor at one point they started using gas carburetor when there was further hike in petrol prices but the thing is a lot of people still have not really used it probably they are scared because of its risks and what have you i really do not know but on this particular video i will be trying my possible best to explain dual carburetors and everything that has to do with dual carburetors okay without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the videos okay if you do not know what a dual carburetor is a dual carburetor just as the name implies is a carburetor that uses two type of fuel so this particular carburetor is popularly called a dual carburetor however it is actually a tri-fuel carburetor how is it a tri-fuel carburetor because it uses petrol from this end and it uses gas from this gas nozzle this carburetor that has been mounted already we give you a better explanation of it this is the gas nozzle end and the other end here is the petrol and usually connected from here to the tank okay but this particular generator is however not uh, like this from the factory okay we mounted this ourselves but there are usually generators that have dual fuel carburetors from the factory but the good thing about those generators that have dual fuel carburetor from the factory is the ease in transition from one fuel to another for that one you just need to press a particular button and then your generator transition from using fuel and then it uses gas but this particular generator which we have mounted a gas carburetor we have to do it manually it's either we are using fuel at a petrol rather at a particular point in time or we decide to use gas at a particular point in time i hope that does explain what you need to understand basically about the term dual fuel carburetor or tri fuel carburetors so people are actually scared if they can properly maintain a generator that uses a dual fuel carburetor but the thing is there is basically no difference between a generator that uses just petrol and a generator that now uses dual fuel carburetor that uses both the petrol and the gas as a matter of fact if i am being sincere with you using this particular carburetor does everything good for the life of your generator okay with this particular carburetor your generator is well optimized by optimized i mean the way your generator works is smoother and it doesn't give much fumes as much as a generator that works solely on petrol it's maintenance it's easy just like the regular maintenance you really do not need to do any big deal just like you change your engine oil that is how you change the engine oil for this particular generator however there's something of note you certainly need to be aware of because of the type of petrol the type of fuel rather you may be using at a particular time it may affect the power of your generator it may affect the way your generator run and it may affect the power of your generator so it's very much likely that some load your generator would power easily on a particular type of fuel your generator may not be able to power it on another type of fuel so it's very very much okay to take cognizance of that but that is not a big deal because it can be easily attended to all you just need is a little tweak here and there to put your gen back in proper uh, functional position what i mean by this is for because i have been able to fix these carburetors for hundreds of generators over time i've learned one or two things and gotten experiences from them sometimes when you fix this carburetor for a particular generator it may not be able to carry as much load as the generator usually carries with your regular petrol okay when your generator now uses it may not be able to carry as much load as it would have done with petrol but there's a little fix for that all you just need to do is to get your screwdriver and increase the speed of your generator a little very little increase that will regulate everything all right it's not difficult it's not difficult it's just a tiny tweak anybody can do that if you are looking at getting a dual carburetor you should please take cognizance of the initial cost okay the initial cost is quite high but in the long run you have nothing to lose 
because you'll be the one to enjoy it in a video that will be posted in about two weeks from now i will explain to you guys how someone saved over two million naira from using gas instead of petrol so that is to tell you you certainly have nothing to lose just make the initial investment and everything will be fine okay there is something i need to really explain to you guys as well this particular generator when it runs on gas especially this generator it was tested some few minutes ago when it runs on gas it has a quieter sound it has a quieter sound that is a good thing right isn't it it has a quieter sound so that is one benefit of equally using this dual um, fuel carburetor another thing to note is this for high altitude this particular carburetor is the best okay for high altitude what i mean by high altitude let's say you are to use your generator probably on a hill on top of a rock just for example high altitude you get you may not be able to use your petrol generator properly why because it may not have the ability to get access to oxygen okay but that is not the case when you are using gas for generator that runs on petrol alone and in high altitude you would observe it stalls it jerks don't just take it from me you can go make your research okay it jerks but with the gas it works smoothly that is one benefit of this gas carburetor just go get it guys i sell as well i sell as well you can get from me for the best price my price is not going to tear your pocket whatsoever for the best price you can get from me i still have hundreds of pieces in my uh, possession you can get from me at a very cheap rate and of course getting from me you have direct contact with me i will talk better so when there is need for anything at all probably you have an issue with it you just have to contact me directly that is one benefit from for getting these generator carburetors for me another thing to note is this for this gas generator you can get a customizable tank all you just need to do just like this tank this gas tank all right i don't know if the camera can capture that now okay just like this gas tank you can equally get a customizable tank what's the function of this customizable tank you can just fill your generator with as much and uh, gas as you want and use your generator for as long as you want that is one benefit of using this gas carburetor well i do understand some people may have safety concerns some people may, may, may be scared of the risks involved in using your gas carburetor but let me pinpoint something to you if you have ever used your regular cam gas in your kitchen and you weren't scared to use the cam gas in your kitchen give me one good reason why you should be scared of using this particular system for your generator especially when all safety precautions are observed okay for those that may not know the safety precautions that are needed to be observed one of them is uh, making your generator free from all a spark by making sure there is no peeling on your wires okay if you watch this generator carefully it is very neat and tidy you won't find any detached wire anywhere any detached wire is what really causes spark okay make sure your generator hose is well fitted to the nozzle and same applies to the other end of the hose well fitted to the valve make sure it's very well fitted and make sure you use a very very good pressure hose in fact i do advise people to get a pressure hose. i have gotten pressure hose i don't sell pressure hose but i know of someone who sell the best quality pressure hose i have gotten pressure hose for a lot of persons okay and i do advise to get something in this mode that has an outer covering is um unfortunate i fixed this already i would have shown you guys and make sure you get a proper valve head for your gas make sure the valve head is very proper it does not leak and equally make sure you get a cylinder that does not leak if you observe these precautionary measures just like you observe good measures to take care of yourself i guarantee you you have nothing to worry about with these dual carburetors all right guys i hope with these few tips i have been able to um explain to you guys everything you need to understand about these dual carburetors but there is something you must do for me guys if you've loved our videos especially this particular video if you've loved this video and you want us to make more of these videos please do well to like share and subscribe that's if you haven't subscribed do well to do that it's going to spur us and of course it's going to tell youtube 
that there are good contents we post on this particular channel so that is it from us guys till we meet in our next class it's goodbye from us stay safe guys <laughs>